Hi everyone, we're Ramba, and today we're reviewing Capella Gepetto. So she is the Lancer of the... After Christmas Batch. After Christmas Batch. <laughs> and she's really cute. Like, her whole motif is about sewing, and so you can see there's a lot of lace, there's a lot of patchwork. There are these little dolls. And then she has a giant ball of yarn as well. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's at the end of her lance. I think so too. Uh, and then she is currently ranked in A on Famitsu. Mm -hmm. So she's pretty decent. She's probably pretty decent. Um, we don't actually know because A rank spans a lot of things. And it probably means she was an A plus previously or somewhere thereabouts. Um, what's really interesting about her is, well, for me, it was, what was really interesting was, you know how, like, patchwork stuff is supposed to be, like, really creepy and really scary? I rolled her, and I expected her to be, like, really creepy, especially because I knew she summoned dolls, and I was like, I don't know. But then her affinity art came up, and it's really bright and really cheerful and really lens flary, and it's really cute. Like, look at, look at all these dolls helping her out, and she's making more. Mm -hmm. It's cute. Yep. It's cute. So, her leader skill is self-repair, and it will moderately increase the speed of skill types. That's pretty cool, actually. There's not a lot of leader skills that increase speed, right? I feel like a lot of this batch in particular do that, but prior batches don't really have that. <laughs> her passive skills are heal boost plus 30%, SP cost minus 5% slash Action skill plus 5% per skill type in the team, which is written cut off. here. Um, so you have to have uh, skill type characters in your team in order to uh, activate this passive skill. Although it seems to be pretty good because passive skill, I mean, SP cost minus 5% is great. And action skill plus 5% is low, but it's still really good. Yeah, so if you have four skill types, then SP cost minus 20%. Wow, that's a lot. So if you're maining her and you're not planning to use any other characters on your team and you have three other skill types, that's pretty good. She also resists damage by minus 20%. So her first skill is Sewing Set and it will cost you 40 SP. So that's pretty expensive. It is. So both of her skills seem to be pretty expensive, but they do also both summon dolls to attack with her. Right. So Sewing Set is actually a healing skill and it heals both yourself and allies, and it will temporarily summon the dolls that will attack enemies. Right, and so do the dolls attack on their own? Yes. Asynchronously? So the dolls attack on their own, and they don't require you to be attacking as well. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Her second action skill is Panic pa Patchwork, and it'll cost you 53 SP, again, relatively expensive, especially for a Lancer. Um, and it summons a huge iron that presses the enemy, dealing both dealing fire damage and temporarily decreases the damage you take. Um, and the power increases when dolls are summoned. So I actually think that the dolls only get summoned in the first skill. Yeah, I might have misspoken. So the dolls seem to only get summoned in the first skill, and if you have the dolls out, then it will do more damage in the second skill. So her skills kind of stack. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I don't often see skills that interact with each other, I guess. But yeah, let's try her out. So here we are on the quest and switch to her. So let's do her first skill because it's a heal. Oh, it's a really decent heal. So you can see that it summons or it summons these two dolls, and they are attacking with yarn. And we are not actually attacking, but the dolls are attacking for us. Yeah, and it's like throwing the... It's like far ranged. Oh, that's pretty cool. And the nice thing about that... Oh, well, I guess the sad thing about that is it's not very much damage. Yeah. But I imagine if you equip her... I think it does a lot of... Um, SP heal, or regeneration though. So let's do the first skill again. And then you can see in the upper right, it does heal other, not others, your partner. It heals your partner. allies. And that was the second skill, but again, the second skill looks like this. And it provides you a defense buff. Mm -hmm. And you can see that the, the, the 
damage was very high, and once the dolls disappear, we'll go ahead and do the second skill so you can see the different difference in the damage. And yes, you can see the SP heal from the dolls, because we haven't really been attacking, but yet our SP is back up to full. Mm -hmm. And here is the second skill once again. Right, um, I think it does twice as much damage if you have the dolls out. Yeah, so... You're right. Um, so the dolls don't get summoned if you don't use the first skill. Mm -hmm. It's I pretty mean, good. You, yeah. Uh, only if you use the summon skill do the dolls come out. Like, she's really cool. So, you can really main her if you want. So she has a heal, which is great. And then she also has SP regeneration, or really good SP regeneration, because the dolls have a lot of attack. Mm -hmm. um, and then if the mobs are grouped up, then the dolls' attacks will hit everything in its range. And you will get all of your SP back. And then, like, you don't even need to, like, be attacking. Like, the dolls will regenerate the SP for you. Would she be considered a self-contained character? Because she has... Not really. I mean, like, she would... She has a heal. She has a damage buff. I guess. I guess not. She I has mean, a heal. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, all she really has is a heal. But at the same time, like, it really depends on the content that you're fighting. Anyway, she's pretty good. Um, she's really impressive, actually. Uh, her, her damage is relatively high. Although it is an AoE attack, so you do have to be in the thick of things. Um, her dolls do do damage, and I would imagine they're more used for SP regen than they would be used for actual damage. Yeah, because they were only doing around, like, 40, 40 damage or so yeah and i mean it is with a wooden weapon equipped but still even with an actual weapon i don't think they would do that much damage anyways mm -hmm. they're just really purely there to get regain your sp without like really trying but their uh their sp regeneration is pretty good and so it sort of offsets her expensive skill costs mm -hmm. and i mean her first skill costs a lot but it's also a heal for both self and allies which is expected to cost a lot as is yeah. I would say that definitely if you're looking for a Lancer, she's a really good Lancer. I don't know if she does the damage that you're looking for for one for like this late in the game, but she's still really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's Coppelia. Coppelia, however you pronounce it. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.